Yo, what up everybody, Casca King here, with an actual video, holy shit, I know. Today I'm doing my top 10 favorite PlayStation 2 games. I did PlayStation 1 games about 8 years ago, so this video's been, uh, a long time coming. <laughs> so, who's ready for my top 10? Now, I tried putting these in order the best I could. But some of them are kind of hard to think. So here we are at number 10. We have Okage Shadow King. This is an RPG. Now, to be completely honest, I don't remember much about it. But I had a blast with this game. I remember really enjoying it. And a really interesting story. And I think there was like a twist at the end. Uh, definitely want to play it again uh, sometime. Probably for the channel. But yeah. Okage, Shadow King at number 10. At number 9, we have Metal Arms, Glitch in the System. Now, I think this was on every system. Uh, but I, I fucking love robots. Alright, I'll admit it. And I saw this, and I'm like, you know what, this is, I bet this is going to be a good fucking game. And it was a good game. Uh, unfortunately, it never got its sequel. It was, it was going to be a whole franchise... But I guess it just didn't do well enough. Or maybe the company that made it shut down. Who knows. But I really enjoyed this. Really enjoyed this game. Excuse me. At number 8, we have War of the Monsters. This is a giant monster fighting game. You play as a giant monster, you fight other giant monsters. There's a few unlockables, some skins. I, for a fighting game, I love this. And I'm sad that it didn't take off. I think they could remake this game. I think it'd do very well in there. Uh, my favorite monsters were usually the giant robots. So, on to number seven. Number seven is The Suffering. I love the monster designs in, these, in this game. I love the sequel. I think this was also on Xbox. Uh, it's made by Midway. You play as a prisoner on a prisoner island. And there's all sorts of monsters and scary bullshit happening. And if you want a decent horror game, I would suggest it. On to number six. If you go Capsule Monsters uh, Coliseum. I love Yu-Gi-Oh! Alright, if, if you've known me long enough, you know I love Yu-Gi-Oh! I fucking love Capsule Monsters. Now, they did do a couple of, like, short movies for this, but they fucking sucked. But the video game itself is actually very good. It's like chess, but with monsters. And, uh, you know, the arenas are a little more interesting. I, I've played through this game a few times, and I, I love it every time. Uh, I'm, I'm really sad that this did not uh, get a sequel or anything. It's so sad. Alright, number five is God of War. I loved God of War, specifically God of War 2. I played the shit out of God of War 2. I'm pretty sure I 100 percented it. I unlocked all the costumes. I, I, I think, I'm pretty sure I unlocked everything. Uh, it's one of the few games I've 100 percented. Uh, the new God of War, uh, I can't wait to play it. The sequel to that is going to be amazing, I can already tell. I so badly want to get a PlayStation 5 just so I can play fucking God of War. I guess it's just called God of War. <laughs> So yeah, God of War 1, 2, and I think there was like a couple others. There's been quite a few games. I've kind of lost track over the years. But yeah, Kratos throwing his swords around and just fucking killing shit. Good old time. Up at number 4 is Resident Evil 4. I played the shit out of Resident Evil 4. I had the Steelbook. Uh, I had the really fancy one. 
Uh, unfortunately, my game has glitched. I unlocked all the costumes except for the suit of armor, which I could never get to unlock for some reason. But I probably played through this game a billion fucking times back to back. I was pretty much speed running it before speed running was a thing. Uh, maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll play it again someday on the channel. I think I have it on Steam. Uh, but I do I I miss the fixed camera angles of Resident Evil One, Two, and Three. Up at number three is Ratchet and Clank. Good series, all around fun. I loved the first two games. Uh, after that, I kind of stopped playing video games for a while. Definitely want to play the ones I've missed out on. But, uh, yeah, Ratchet and Clank is just a good old time. Up at number two is Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. I prefer 2 because, uh, they fixed the issue with the camera. Using your fucking triggers or whatever to move the camera was always such a pain in the ass. Using the analog sticks feels way better. But yeah, I love Kingdom Hearts. You know, it's Final Fantasy meets Disney. If you haven't heard of this game, you've been living under a rock. I absolutely love the design of the enemies. I think they're very interesting. Probably my favorite part of the game. And on to number one of my favorite PlayStation 2 games is Dot Hack. The Dot Hack was a four disc game, it came out four times separately. Worth a shit ton today. I had the first two games, I played through them like hell. Never got to play three or four because they were always too expensive. But uh, one day I am going to rectify that. And, the cr and, and Bandai, if you ever happen to see this, please re release Dot Hack online. Okay, you finally made the last. The, the last game for the GU or whatever the fuck it was called series. Do the original. Everyone likes the original, and they're far too expensive nowadays. You're not making any money from any of those resales. Bring this back, okay? This was a good fucking series. It had an interesting story, it had interesting characters, great locations, and I, I, I can't say enough good things about it. And each one came with a DVD, so you got a little world building there. So, yeah, this has been my top 10 favorite PlayStation 2 games. Uh, it was kind of hard making the list. Um, you know, the first, like, five or six were, you know, no-brainers. Started getting kind of complicated with the last three, but I eventually... You know, I'm like, oh, I remember this game, I love this game. So, uh, yeah. I am rusty at making regular videos. <laughs> but, uh, hopefully they'll become a regular thing again. I hope you enjoyed this top ten list, and I hope you're having a good day. Check out all my links down below, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, everybody.